On July the 27th, at the 46th session of UNESCO World Heritage Committee in New Delhi, the Beijing Central Axis, a symbol of ideal order of the Chinese capital, was officially added to the World Heritage List. This marked China's 59th entry, reflecting the country's rich heritage and its dedication to cultural preservation. This recognition highlights not only the architectural and historical importance of the Central Axis, but also the growing global appreciation for China's cultural treasures and conservation efforts. China now ranks second in the world with 59 World Heritage Sites, and Beijing stands out as the city with the most World Heritage Sites globally. China has shown its commitment to natural and cultural heritage conservation, and especially now with 59 amazing um, sites around China since joining the World Heritage Convention in 1985. This is a wonderful achievement for China and for the world. China is a great country. A testament to China's civilization is the archaeological sites of Lanzhou, located in the Yangtze River Delta in East China. These ruins reveal an early state with a unified belief system based on rice cultivation in the late Neolithic China. Rice, a stable crop nearly synonymous with China, was cultivated as early as 10,000 years ago. At the Shangshan site near Lanzhou, archaeologists have found the world's earliest known domesticated rice grains, marking the spread of rice cultivation across China and beyond. In Lanzhou, Charred grains from 5,000 years ago were uncovered in a granary, weighing around 200 metric tons, evidence of a thriving, sustainable community. Thousands of jade artifacts, including hat pieces, necklaces, bracelets, were also unearthed from tomb. Far from being mere ornaments, these objects played a central role in rituals and ceremonies, reflecting the belief system and a cultural sophistication of the Lanzhou society. The advanced nature of this early urban civilization is further evidenced by the impressive earthen monuments, stone tools, and a pottery, along with this highly organized urban planning, sophisticated water conservation system, and a clear social hierarchy, as seen in the differentiated burials within cemeteries. In 2019, the archaeological ruins of Lanzhou earned the UNESCO World Heritage status, described as an outstanding representation of the prehistoric early state and urban civilization. This recognition offers the window into the Chinese civilization that began over 5,000 years ago. However, even before this global recognition, Lanzhou had already captured the attention of top archaeologists worldwide including Colin Ranfrey, a renowned professor emeritus at the University of Cambridge. Yangju is a particularly important site because it takes us back nearly a thousand years before what was thought of as the first civilization of China. The ruins of Lanzhou might not have gained global recognition without the efforts of the Zhejiang provincial government two decades ago. In the early 2000s, the site was surrounded by about 30 mining operations, creating heavy industrial pollution. But the situation started to change in the summer of 2003, when Xi Jinping, the party chief of Zhejiang province at that time, visited the site. He recognized this significance, noting that Lanzhou was clear evidence of a 5,000-year-old Chinese civilization. Years later, in 2016, President Xi stressed the importance of protecting ancient ruins in a letter to several prominent archaeologists. 
He emphasized how these sites deepen our understanding of China's long and rich history and a value of the Chinese civilization. The preservation of the Lanzhou ruins is just one aspect of China's broader efforts to trace the origins of its civilization. In 2022, President Xi said such efforts have given clarity to the evolution of Chinese civilization and the development of its pluralistic and integrated pattern. This growing awareness of China's ancient and profound history is also fostering greater confidence in Chinese culture. President Xi has repeatedly stressed the importance of maintaining unwavering cultural confidence, seeing it as essential to national pride and identity. In 2023, in his congratulatory message to the inaugural Liangzhu Forum, President Xi Jinping called on all parties to make the best of the Liangzhu Forum, to implement a global civilization initiative and further exchanges and mutual learning between civilizations. This initiative, which she proposed in March 2023, calls for respect for the diversity of civilizations, the preservation and innovation of cultural heritage, humanity's common values, and a stronger international cooperation through people-to-people -people exchanges. This initiative is more relevant than ever before. As uh, President uh, Xi's thought about a global civilization, is strongly uh, based on if there is a single a flower in a garden, then there would not be a spring. We need to have all the flowers to have a real spring. China's commitment to cultural exchange is not new. It has a long history, stretching back to ancient times. From Jiang Chen's diplomatic missions to the Western regions, to Xuanzang's quest to Buddhist teachings, from Marco Polo's travels to China, to Zheng He's seven voyages to the West, China has always sought to foster connections with the world demonstrating its enduring role in global cultural dialogue. A modern example of this is the ongoing cultural exchanges between museums worldwide. In Shanghai, an exhibition featuring nearly 800 artifacts from different periods of ancient Egypt has further strengthened the historical bound between China and Egypt. The exhibition, titled On Top of the Pyramid, the Civilization of Ancient Egypt is a remarkable display of cultural exchange at Shanghai Museum. Over 95% of the 788 artifacts are being shown in Asia for the first time, offering a rare opportunity to explore the world of the pharaohs. Within the first month of its public opening on July the 19th, the exhibition attracted nearly 320,000 visitors. 我们这次展览呢，最大的一个特点就是想对古埃及文明做一个系统全面的介绍，啊，而且第二个特点是想从中国人的视角，还有埃及本土研究者的视角给大家展示一个古埃及。如果通过我们中国人推介出去，应该是
，在新的起点上，继续推动文化繁荣，建设文化强国，建设中华民族现代文明，是我们在新时代新的文化使命。